Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to make a game object to fade to some color using Coroutine. Scripts are available by the links in the description. Here I have three balls in my scene that will change their colors using fading scripts. I drag and drop fade to red script to the first ball. Fade to green script to the second ball and fade to blue script to the third one. Let's have a look at these scripts. Here is fade to red script. First we have a sprite render reference variable, then fade amount value goes, which can be set in the inspector. Then fading speed goes, which can be modified in inspector too. In start method we assign renderer variable first. Then we get access to renderer color options and set initial values to green and blue channels. I put these lines here, just to show you how you can control each channel value. Next coroutine that slowly changes object color goes. The last method just starts fading coroutine when assigned UI button is clicked. Fade to green and fade to blue scripts are nearly the same, with only difference in color channels that are modified in fading coroutine. Ok, let's create control buttons. Create new UI canvas and set its scale mode to scale with screen size. Right click on canvas and create new UI button. Duplicate it twice. Name these buttons as fade to red button. Fade to green button. and fade to blue button. Select all of them and anchor them to the center holding Alt plus Shift keys. Select red button and place it next to left ball. Then place blue button next to right ball. Select all of the buttons and modify their width and height. Then modify their text components, change font family, change font size, change text field. Select all of the buttons and place them under the balls. Like that. Select red button, add new unclick function, select first ball game object. Select start fade to red method from its script. Select green button, add new unclick function, select ball to game object and select start fade to green method. Select blue button, add new unclick function, select ball 3 and select start fade to blue method. That's it. Hit play and see how it works. Thank you for watching. See you next time.